and that done nine months later you got a joey diaz looking like fucking ugly monkey looking <laughs> baby and shit like that so i yeah, got irish I, I got irish italian jizz i'm done i'm lucky that last i got that last one that made it up the fucking tube just staggered into her fucking egg and fell into it so i'm done my jizz is done <laughs> No, I'm very lucky. I'm happy. And I remember going to the doctor. My friends out in L.A., the fucking, the muscle crew was like, Joey, you're over 50. You got to take testosterone. And I started taking it. I started going to a doctor and getting a shot every week. And I ended up in the fucking hospital giving them a gallon of blood because my red blood count had taken over or some shit. And I told my acupuncturist, and she told me right out. She goes, listen, don't do it. It don't work for Cuban people. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Because she's Jewish. I go, what are you talking about? It works for everybody. She goes, don't do it. And sure enough, after I came out of the hospital, I went back to the fucking doctor and I told him what had happened. He's like, Jesus Christ, this only happened one other time to me with a Cuban dude about 20 years ago. What so the my, fuck is that? I don't know. So my acupuncturist was right. She was like, you don't need it. You, you don't need to make testosterone. You knock your wife up at 50. That's your fucking testosterone. What do you need to make testosterone, get a shot for? I'm like, my friends are telling me that I'll be yeah, a lot yeah, better yeah. off. Nothing. Yeah. I'm better off now. I take a little testosterone pill twice a day. I lift weights. You do your little protein drink yeah. at night yeah. before you fucking hit the crib with my potassium pills. And I'm done with my magnesium. That's what I've been living off of, magnesium and probiotics. Yeah, that's what all my friends do. Do you get a stem cells and testosterone? Go get this check. No, I don't want no check. fucking needles. I, I'm fucking old school in it. I'm original Superman. I'm going to the gym. I'll take a protein shake. I'll eat a banana. I'll cut down on the carbs and I'll walk. I'm, I'm going to fucking, I ain't doing any of that shit. I ain't growing my hair back. I'm not getting fucking plugs. I'm done. I shaved my head at 32. I was like, I'm out. I'm out. Good for you. How's the comedy going? What are you thinking so far? <clears throat> I don't know, dude. It's a weird. Listen, you know, you know, we've been. It's hard to get these engines back up. You know, I I did it for twenty eight years, nonstop, pretty much every Friday and Saturday night, pretty much every night of the week, except for maybe Sundays. But even Sundays for most of that twenty eight years, and then to shut it down for a year. And be home on Fridays and Saturdays. And to kind of get used to that shit. Because now I got a life. Back in the day, I had no life. It was just me in some shitty apartment in New York City. Now I got this backyard. I got my kid who I fucking love. He's got baseball. I got my wife. We have dinner. We barbecue. You know, all this shit. So now to get up at four in the morning, get in the car, Go to the airport, check in, get on a fucking plane, go to the fucking thing, open that up. You know what I mean? Get get to the hotel, all that shit. It's it's like fuck, man. Getting those engines up, and then getting to the club, doing the show, two shows, fucking kill me. Ooh, two shows kill me, dude. You got to work yourself up to that now. You got to do like a show and a guest set for like a month. <laughs> a show and then do a guest set on the second show. I, you know, Bob, I tried. And it just wasn't working for me. I yeah. tried for about six or seven weeks. I took uh, I took off from March second, like everybody yeah. else, till August. I got on stage with our man Rich Voss in Florentine at the East Hanover Mall, where you just performed that. Mm -hmm. I felt good that night. The only thing I was scared of that a bear was going to come and drag me out from the fucking thing into the woods. <laughs> that's the only fear I had. I did good. And then I started doing spots at Uncle Vinny's great club. I love Dino. Yeah, but love I just him. wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. I couldn't write new material. And I hate doing fucking old jokes. You know, so I said, yeah. you know what, Dino, let me pull the plug. Let me get my heart and my soul and my head connected. Yeah. And I'll come back when I'm fucking ready, you know, and I'm hoping. I feel you, dude. I feel you. Yeah. It's the, it's the new... It's the new, like back in the day, back a couple of years ago, I would, something would happen. This would go down. I'd hold it. I'd wait till the weekday. I'd go to the cellar. I'd work it, work it, work it. And then by the end of the week, I'd have a new bit and I'd be good to go. And it was like that thing was flowing. Now I'm trying to come up with shit, but it's not, there's something missing. Like I, like I lost something. Like I can't. 
don't know what the fuck it is, but he, even on stage, I'll be like, yeah, and I'll stop bringing something up, and it will just go, it's like, just dies. And I wind up having to go back to a bit that I know works, and then your comic guilt sets in, where you're like, fuck, man. And then you see these young bucks coming up behind you that are just, you know, hungry little fucking lions that are, you know, and, you know, I, I, I think I got to push through it. I think I think what I'm going to do is try to get a night where I can go down. Like Aries is doing it. Uh, Shafir is doing it. Well, he's got a night at the stand where it's like, look, this is going to suck. So fuck you. I'm just going to do new stuff. And everybody else who's coming up is fucking off. And this isn't, a, this is just going to suck until it doesn't suck. This, you know what I mean? Because something went out, like the pilot light went out with the new stuff. And it's, it's, it's killing me because you go on the road and you feel like shit because you know, you know, when you look out and that guy knows that you, I heard that joke before, you know what I mean? You're like, fuck, it, it's, it's hard. And now it's, very hard. it's true because everybody's doing the, the fucking COVID shit too. So we got to get out of that era, you know, and the whole world changed too. Don't forget that there's certain things you, you know, you know, you, you, in your head, whether Look, I don't give a fuck. I don't got a B plan. I'm going to do what I want, say what I want. And if I think it's funny, I'm going to do it. But in the back of your head, that is there. Like, what the fuck? You know? They, yeah. can't, they can't. Listen, uh, unless you got a TV show or uh, they can't take nothing from you. They can take your sponsors from you and a TV fucking show. Right. They can't take what you do, the time you've put in, and they can't take the microphone from you. And if you're right. selling tickets... These club owners, they'll either scab off an Iranian's head. You know that they'll fucking book you. They don't give a fuck. As long as you pack the fucking room right. and go up there and give them 150%, you'll always be a great comic and always have work. People got to get this cancel culture out of their fucking minds. You know what? I'm going straight ahead whether you cancel me or not. I don't give a fuck. Right. No. I kidnapped no, the right. dude and put him in a fucking trunk of a car. You think I'm worried about cancel country, <laughs> bitch? You could suck my fucking dick now at this age. <laughs> I've done it all. You want to come at me now because 23 years ago, some girl sucked my dick at the comedy store who I'm dear friends with again now? You want right. to come at me over something like that and try to cancel? Listen, go fuck yourself. <laughs> you know, you got no... You, the reason why cancel life exists is because people let themselves get canceled. I'll okay. fucking go out there. You, you see what happened in Israel and... And fucking Palestine, they're out there throwing rocks. That's me on the stage. I'll be out there throwing fucking rocks. 